everyone, today I thought I'd share with you how I use my cold brew bottle. Now I absolutely love this thing and I finally pulled it back out for the summer and so I thought while I'm making myself some tea today, let's go ahead and show you how I do it. The bottle I'm talking about is this Butte, which is previously from Bluebird Tea Company. They have just rebranded as of May 1st to Bird and Blend Tea Company, which is really cool. I feel a little bit special because I have so much Bluebird merch that does this make me like an old school Bluebird fan. <laughs> the pattern on mine has their previous logo on it and then their slogan of chill, steep, drink, repeat. I don't know if they're going to be keeping this around or not with their new logo if they're doing something completely different. I'm sure they're coming out with them. You can also get it uh, plain and clear and there are two different sizes. This is the larger size and there's a smaller one. Two different colors of caps. There's green or there's red. I'm an olive girl, so of course I'm going to go for the green one. Featured with this bottle is a little cork spout, and this is all silicone. And then pop this off, and inside of here is your <laughs> little filter. The tea I'm going to use today is no longer available. I'm very sorry. It was one of last summer's seasonal mocktails they did. Now what you want to do is you want to put four to six teaspoons of whatever tea you want into the bottle. Now I normally do it by if there's a chunky blend then I do the six. If it's a very finely milled blend I do the four. Use your own preference. Use however strong you want. And then all you gotta do pop on the cap, wait four hours in the fridge, and you are good to go. The main thing I will caution you on is over steeping this tea. Now it is done cold, so it is a lot longer of a process, but it still can get very bitter, especially since whenever you have this bottle, you just leave the leaves and stuff in there. The last one I made, I think I let it sit for like three days before I finished it. And that last couple was a little bit, um, potent. <laughs> if you do want to keep this for say a week, I would say go ahead and strain it out whenever it is done. Otherwise, I absolutely love this bottle. It is great for whenever you have friends over. It just looks like a fancy wine bottle, so especially if you don't drink alcohol, it just, it's cool. It's good for picnics. I, I, I'm happy I brought it back out again. If you want to make some cold brew tea but you don't have a bottle, there are some ways to do it. You can get yourself a big strainer. So there's normally like the big ball strainers and put your four to six things in there. Lovely, it works. It's not my personal favorite because around the edge of the ball, tea leaves tend to seep out. You can also get the single serve bags, which you can put your own loose leaf tea in and just use four to six of those, brew that up. You can probably use a muslin cloth as well. Whatever floats your boat. All you gotta do is put it in the fridge for at least four hours and you are good. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for in case you were looking to get a cold brew bottle for yourself. Let me know if there's any other tea steeping tools or any tea related questions you guys have. I'll try to help out the best I can. Subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone.